Greetings, welcome, and good evening. You guys don't get to see that part. When he yells, hello, 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 he gets as close as he can to the mic. I can. Like he's on some <laughs> famous radio show or something. I know. How is everyone doing today? We have not been live in a hot minute doing this because we have been in Salt Lake City. Park City, to be exact. Park City, to be exact. Beautiful. Um, it is beautiful there. But... We're back, and we canceled yesterday because holy moly guacamole. We have been just, since the moment we got home, go, go, go. We mm -hmm. want to get caught up so we can focus on our relaunch of this channel mm -hmm. and all of the exciting stuff and schedules and stuff. So if you don't know what's going on, um, Ken's Creations is now Ken's Beautiful Crazy Life. Facebook, it still says Ken's Creations because they won't let me change it. It's very sad. Um, but that's okay. There's got to be a way to overwrite it. Yes, I don't know. Just we, have, we have to know the goods. Uh, but uh, we are working on a schedule, and we're going to have that uploaded for October. So that's when we're going to kind of kick off the schedule. We'll always be a month in advance, so you guys know exactly what we're live, what we're doing, all of that good jazz. We'll have a few edited videos, but your voices were heard, and you like live. And let me tell you, live is going to be a hot mess, because you will truly get a front row seat into how we function and love each other, and fight with each other, and make up with each other. It's beautiful, it's crazy, but it is our life, and we yes. want you to be part of it. So, for those that don't know, um, with uh, in regards of what we are doing um, for our lives, our first part of our lives will always be on Ken's Beautiful Crazy Life, aka Ken's Creations, the channel right now. This is where we will do all of our surface prep, show you how we um, stain, paint, get things ready, use the glow forge, all of that good jazz. When we get to the point of literally being done with this portion of the video, we then end this broadcast, switch things over, and jump over to our other channel, which you can just look up, Chalk Couture Ken's Creations, and that's where we will finish the board. Yeah. So Pretty if you have any easy, questions, easy peasy. the great thing is, is as for those that are watching on this channel, we can give you links, we can talk in depth about products yes. and all of that stuff. So today we are making a hot cocoa board. So a lot of stuff came back into stock today. Um, we'll talk about that later, but because of that, now I get to dive deep into all of this great stuff. Mm. So um, welcome YouTube, welcome Facebook. Um, if you missed out on Ken from the car yesterday, you might want to, um, and stuff because for those of you, we have new backgrounds. Um, I'll bring them closer. Um, for those of you that want to get in on this, this is our next project in our bundles, kits, and more groups. So if you want to join that group, you have to be part of the group to be part of this, uh, amazingness and we actually just cut it for you using our Glowforge. We don't paint it. We painted ours. Um, but these are Halloween. The pre-order will start tomorrow and it's only going to last 72 hours and they're going to be a very reasonable price. I can't tell you yet, but it will be tomorrow. We'll be going live in our bundles and kits, but look at how freaking cute these are. We got Hey Boo, Pumpkin, Batty, witchy, spooky, um, and then Sean, in typical Sean fashion, was we painted this and started gluing this, and he goes, you know what? You know what? And then brace yourself. He goes, I'm going to get wild and crazy here. And I said, okay, Sean, what are you going to do? He goes, I'm going to go 3110. Mm -hmm. Just throw in a little difference. I was like, you for rebel. Our, for, for our friends uh, <laughs> over the across the pond, you they do the or in a lot of European countries, oh really, gosh. they do. It just day, cracked me up because month. I thought he was gonna yeah. do something like really like scandalous <laughs> or something big, and he's like, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna do something different, and I'm gonna switch around and go thirty one ten. And I was like, okay, thirty one ten, thirty first October. Pump the brakes. We don't want you to get too crazy. So I don't know which one my favorite is. Um, I don't know. They're all beautiful. Someone Can't did you? not mute their phone. Mine's muted. That's why mine went, mm, and then you went being. Oh. I take the blame on that one. Good job, Sean. One, you get one little nick in your corner. So Thank you. congratulations. Um, all right, guys. So that, if you do want to be part of it, um, definitely um, join that mm -hmm. group. So we'll be going live with that tomorrow. Let me put these all back up. Um... They're kind of cute, and they were actually a lot easier to cut than I thought they would be. Yeah. And the files we use, I really like because they give you score lines. So you know exactly where you need to set 
your cuts. Sean is savage. Let's, let's hope this does not fall over. Let's hope. Let's hope. All right. We should have one more, Sean. Oh, I got it. Daddy, do you know every time I see that, I think of um, Rain... Ferngully, the last rainforest. Do you remember the bat? He was mm -hmm. done by Robin Williams. He was like, my name is Batty. My logic is a ratty. Okay, anyways. So <laughs> I am told this next portion of our video, I have to go outside. I was going to do it inside, but Sean overrode me. Mm -hmm. So I what we're going to do is we're going to prep our surface, which is this palette I board. Almost do this. Uh, do this. It's fine. It sure? won't take me long. Right. So I'm going to use this, which I is... don't know what grit that is. Um, and oh, it's the mm -hmm. it's the super mm -hmm. fine one. Are you guys gonna do Glowforge videos? We are gonna do Glowforge videos. We actually talked to Glowforge, and they're gonna spotlight us, which is super cool. Um, and those will probably start in October as well. Those will be our live videos that we're doing. So I know Fern Coley is so good. All right, so I'm using this to sand it. I'm gonna be sanding this and also this while I'm sanding. Um, Sean will entertain you. Oh boy! Oh boy! Boy! Bye. Bye. All right, since he's going to go, if you guys have any questions, if you have anything you want to say or ask, go ahead and do it because this may take longer than he really thinks because it takes a little time. Anyway, hope everybody had a great time. Hi, Heidi. Hi, uh, Patience. We should say who's all here. Why don't we look to see who's all here in the room? We've got Patience and uh, Georgia, Jana, Cindy, and Jen, and Loretta, Annette, Cheryl, Heather, Sharla, Nancy, Bjorkle, let's see, Laura from uh, Across the Pond, Sherry, Jane, Kim, hi Kim, Diana, Jeannie, and uh, let's see, I like a stampin', Gina, or Jenna, Jana, Joan, Angela, Jackie, and Denise, and Deb, and Kathy, Kathy, I saw your name somewhere earlier today, don't know where. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Laura, it's very early in the UK. Hi, Wendy. Inez. Lori and Katie. Gail. All right, let's see what we got back towards the bottom here. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Austin, Texas. Never been. Been to Dallas. Been to a few places around the world. Hi, Becky. How are the babies? Babies are doing good, Dorothy. Um... Uh, they're outside enjoying stuff, and uh, Miss uh, Riley is doing doing a lot better. I don't know if you can hear that, but he's doing a lot better, or she's doing a lot better. Um, of course, today we didn't have Miss Jazzy, so Mr. Hades was not here. So, right, or um, Cece kind of gets a little uh, lonely when she's not here. You done? Yeah, Cece wants to play with the sander. I know. Here you go. Thank you. Okay. I didn't take long. So, um, I'm going to go grab a um, wet cloth. I'll be right back. We are both doing very well. Yeah, that cottage in um, Park City was beautiful. Uh, we liked it very much. It was very cool. Okay, um, so I'm just going to... Oh, I'm sorry, Sean. We're going to go in the middle of the story. I'm just going to take a wet cloth and wash this down because it gets very, very sandy. Dust, Dust everywhere. Dust we have a package on our doorstep, right, but they wouldn't hand it to me because they had to wear a mask. Oh, and I said, Sean, it's not whatever. Masks are important. Okay, so this is sanded, and this is sanded. And even though this has a finish and it doesn't look like it needs to be sanded, this does. If it already has a finish, think of it that way. If it has a finish, you're going to want to sand it. Yep. Idaho, Roberta, where in Idaho are you from? You're practically neighbors. Especially if you're just on the other side of where we are. All oh, right. Hi, Paul. Aren't these great? These Thank you for my card. I yes, opened it live card. yesterday. It was yes. so cute. Did you guys see that Cricut released a... I think it's called the foil something. Mm. It's basically like what We Are Memory Keeper did with the foil, foil code, but it's foil for the foil. Cricut. Oh, boy. They're just two years late. Why do we have to sand? Usually, if you're going to paint... Um, sanding, we're staining. We're, well, if you're staining, that's a really good yeah. idea. Is that you want to kind of get that little roughness to uh, take off what's on there. This way the stain adheres better. Better. Okay, so I am using Dixie Bell 
stain. This is a water-based stain, which I prefer over oil because oil takes so long to dry. It's called Voodoo. This one is, I'm going to be using Black Magic, Up in Smoke, and a little bit of White Magic. Now, you have a couple options. You can either... Um, you can either put it directly on here or you can put it on their application pad, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start actually with the lightest color white. And I just put a little bit on and then I'm just going to hit in different areas because I'm going for kind of a um, distressed look. And we're just going to bring that down like so following the wood grain so if yours does even if it is a fake wood grain you still want to follow it um because this will pick up your sand marks and since we so donna would like to know where we get these boards so the boards are a chalk couture surface that we'll talk about in part two yep oh my god stain everywhere excuse me mm -hmm. all right so now you can um dry in between the layers. I'm not. All I'm going to do is grab a new application pad. These are super cheap. These are definitely, um, I think kind of the, makes this process a lot easier. Um, I've not used their oil. They do have oil stain. I'm going to get that next. Um, I'm not a fan of oil myself. Yeah. So we're not, it's not that we're not a fan of oil. We're just, it's, it's just more kind of time consuming. Mm -hmm. And I have harder, no, to, harder to clean. Yeah, and I have no patience. Okay, so now this one, I'm gonna hit all of the different layers, and I know what you guys are saying. Well, wasn't it already gray, Ken? So why are you doing this? Um, we're gonna dry between this layer, and then the last stain is gonna be black, and that's the one I really want to spend some time with. So I'm gonna go take my application pads, and you just run them underwater. I can show you real yep. quick. I'm oh gonna... wait, 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 wait! I forgot. I almost forgot. And I'll dry this one and do that. While he is um, doing that, I'm just going to do this one too. So I'm just going to add a little bit of white and a little bit of the gray. And you can kind of get cool textures like that too if you want to, but we're not going to do that. But see how you can get that kind of cool texture from the, mm -hmm. the cloth? Yes. Maybe I will. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, I'm liking it. Oh, yeah. Where do you get it's the application pad? It actually Ooh, comes from Dixie Belle. The Bell. links are in the description. Yep. It's all Thank in the description. Thank you for in using there. the link because that helps support our beautiful life. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm going to uh, do some drying, so I'm going to mute this because it's very loud. You want to show this or no? Yeah, I can. Okay. Hold on one second. We're going to show him what he's going to do. So this dries, this takes a little longer to dry, so I'm going to continue drying. I just wanted to let you know that's what I'm doing, so since you couldn't see me, so I'm going to dry just a little more. Okay, so he did, he let that dry a little bit longer. If you want to preserve kind of this kind of texture we have, you would want to let it dry a little bit more, but I'm not as worried about that because I want to get this black on. So I will give you one tip. These application pads, I think, are $2.99. They're super cheap. And we've made the mistake of using them damp. 
you don't want to use them damp because it will take all, since this is a water-based material, it's just gonna lift it up. So you wanna make sure you have a couple of these on hand. Right now they have, I think, six colors available in this, so I make sure I have six of these pads ready to go. So and I like to go directly onto the pad, and the reason why is if you put it onto your surface, it will put a harsh line of that there. So, um, Fatima was just asking, are they rough or are they like microfiber? It's more like microfiber, almost like actually a terry cloth, mm -hmm. I think. So I think it's, yeah, much more like a terry cloth feel. Ooh, look at that prettiness. So I'm gonna basically um, have Sean zoom out, yeah. and I'm just gonna keep doing this. Now, obviously in areas, um, where the stain, I let it soak in a little bit and you can always do this to get it more even. And then I just go always with my wood grain, but I also, you can still see that gray where we kind of did it darker, still poking out, which I like. So, um, and then if we get it too dark, we can absolutely add, um, it's white or gray. Okay. So we got our first layer in, and I'm actually gonna do a couple of layers. So same thing on this one, I'm just gonna add these layers. I'm gonna dry it, and then we're gonna add a additional layer to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry this. Now, I know a lot of people are going to ask, well, why not paint it versus stain? So the biggest difference is painting, you're not going to get your wood texture underneath of it. You're going to have to come up with kind of a faux finish on that. Um, where staining, uh, using this stuff, you will be able to. Mm -hmm. And I have some cleaning stuff that will make this come off really easy. So uh, if you get some on you or anything like that, don't even worry about it. So I just push them and then depending on how dark you want it in areas, you can do this where it is kind of random and then we can get some darker areas. So this one, I'm just gonna kind of streak it. And same with this one, we're just gonna streak it in random spots because think of it as layers. The more um, stain I put on it, it's gonna be darker in those areas. So I'm gonna dry it. And then I'm just gonna continue with this process. And we have a lot of stain in here, but I'm just getting more because I really do kind of want this dark uh, charcoal black look almost. Almost as close to black as I can get it. And I will go grab her in a sec while you dry this sounds next. Like the, sounds like the door's open. It is. Oh. Because I was standing and I, my hands were full when I came in oh. last. Well, there's the reason why. Yeah. And then Hello, so, gorgeous. which means the dogs must be out yep. next door because that's when Riles decides to go into beast mode. Okay. So once again, don't, there's no rhyme or reason. It's really just kind of figuring out that color you want. I'm going to let the dogs in. Sean can. I'm going to dry. So a little mute here. Riles never wants to come in. Cece does. But Cece is full of energy because Hades wasn't here today. Nope. Okay, so we're going to add a couple more layers here. Can I use the Dixie Bell application to apply chalk, chalk paint or other water-based paints? Yeah, I think you could. What was that? If you could use these pads with other things. Oh, sure, yeah. I don't see why you couldn't. I think... Um, 
The biggest thing is that I like about these pads is when you use them like this, the the t texture from the cloth almost give it also a wood like finish. So mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna do two more layers. So you're gonna see me use it and then we're gonna do the sides really quick. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, hi, Debbie. Welcome. We're painting a board. She asks, what are we doing? Because she was late. We are getting this ready. We are prepping a board to make a beautiful hot cocoa board. Cheryl McCann, can you use your embossing gun or uh, to dry the wood or does it get too hot? Oh, you probably could. Just be careful not to... Which reminds me, we need to look into the Ryobi 1 heat gun. Oh, yeah, that's right. They have a new one. And Robin asks, are the pads washable? Yes, they are. Yep. I'd wash them very well first in your sink. You um, almost don't need to wash them because don't. you can wash them by hand. Yeah. All right, last time on this one, and then we're going to do the sides, and then I'll show you how to wash them. They wash really easy. Mm -hmm. We have a couple of cleaning supplies we like to use with them. Um, so let's just do our last kind of... Thanks, Annette, for answering that. <clears throat> beep, beep. Beep, beep. I think it's Mr. Weber. Mr. Weber, Mr. Weber. He needs my expertise. Expertise, Mr. Weber. Since Teresa's trying to up her game. She edited a video all by I herself. I know, I saw it, it was awesome. All right, so once you get to your desire, desired look, you could add more, um, we could add like a gray or white, but we're gonna be using a lot of those colors on the board. So I'm gonna dry this and I'll use the rest of the ink on my sides. All right, so now I'm just gonna take the re remainder here and just streak it down the sides. And we don't need to really do this too much. Um, you could do a few of them, but the biggest thing is, is you do want to kind of go back up here and feather it out. If not, you're gonna get these harsh kind of looking lines, which ruins, ruin. Ruined. Uh, Marlene, uh, yes, we are live. I'm glad you could make it. Kristen Dang, can you use these pads to apply chocolate or wax on products? Yep. You probably could, but you would probably want to use that one as wax applicating only, only because I don't think how well that wax will come out of the pad itself because it is a um, base with uh, paraffin. Can I use this type of paint on cabinet? Yep. Absolutely. That's what Just know it's water-based, so on a cabinet, I definitely would spray a finish on it or something. Some kind of finish, but yes, you can. It's probably the way to it. Do the pads have a little bit of faux texture? Um, uh, I mean, like any other washcloth wood yeah it's basically um, a sponge with a terry cloth around it yeah if you really want to get down to the nitty-gritty of whatever the really nitty-gritty do you have a, do you have that other one or the or you washed it um there I'm might be one to... in the drawer hello miss fox so i'm just going through and just darkening the edges um the most important thing about darkening your edges is make sure to go back over and if you have any harsh lines up here you want to get rid of it so um, and then also too, if you have areas where you're like, Ooh, it didn't do it. You can actually put this directly on the board like this and it will get more into those nook and crannies if you want that. So it does take a little longer to dry that way because you're putting it directly on the wood, 
but you can do that. Oh, that's a nice, nice to hear, uh, Annette. Her Home Depot finally got the Ryobi tools in. Oh, wow. That took them a while. Go do some shopping. You would think that they would... Like, were they out of stock or they just never carried them? Oh, no. Okay, so we are done with this. So I'm going to go wash this up. Sean can do a final clean. And I'm going to mm -hmm. show you how I clean these. Yeah. You're going to have to tell them what I'm doing. Yeah, I got it up. So some nice warm water or whatever water you like to use. I like warm because I don't like hot or cold. But I like in between. And he's going to be using the... Let's see. Um, it's clean. And this is the scrubby that's got, got a uh, soap. And it's soap inside of a scrubby. Or the scrubby's inside the soap. It works very nice. As you can see how clean it got. And if, if you're a stickler that wanting it to be white, yeah, you could probably let it soak in a little bit of bleach, but that's all right. Yes, Julie, I'm sorry that you're not feeling good. I hope you're feeling better. So he's going to add a little more of that Scrixie Bell. He's using this mostly on his fingers for anything that didn't come off. Let him know. Take their nail polish off, though. Yeah, if you have nail polish, it'll take it right off. So be careful when you use that Fun Stemmer's Journey stuff. Um, Gala, what can, what do you want to order? And there, all done. You can go back to you. Ta-da! What do you need Just to Just like get? that. Huh? You said she wanted to order something? What she just said, where can we order these? But I wasn't sure what she wanted to order, so I'm waiting for the re response. Oh, they're in the description, but I can get them the link. Yeah, so most of the stuff that you're seeing is usually in the links down below, like the scrubby is part of it. Uh, the pads are with Dixie Bell. Yes. So let me, um, first, let me dry this. Oh, Annette, I didn't know you were in Puerto Rico. So I just used this on... We're gonna whoop, get rid of it. Now, we did a pretty good job, but um, if you were to have gotten some stain on this, and just for demonstration purposes, I'll put a little boop. Okay, so, little boop, and even if you grab your, it's still gonna be in there. And now, just to show you how cool the stuff is, we're gonna dry that. Okay, so that is where this stuff comes in. So this is um, Fun Stamper's Journey True Color Fusion Cleaner. I love this stuff. It will take your nail polish off. It's great to clean tools. Um, I let it sit for just a few minutes and... Seconds? Yeah, seconds. The problem is, is if you leave it on too long, you can already see where on our surface it's taking away the whitewash we did um, by using that. It is magical stuff. It was really designed to clean rubber stamps. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the few things that I buy in droves. And you can get it down below. And then I just take it and clean the lids of these. And make sure that these are down. This here, I love. This is their scrubby. Um, all of our Club Couture members actually got this. This is basically a little scrubby brush that they put the soap inside of it. What's cool about this is it's made with essential oils. It's very soft for hands, but it's great to clean not only your hands, but your paintbrush. You just take your paintbrush back and forth, put it underwater. It smells great. It comes in lime, orange, or lemon, lemon, lime. lemon, lemon. lime. Um, and it works great to clean not only your hands, but even the basin and stuff. We buy this stuff in droves. Yep. So I'm gonna go put these back. Come on, just like that. Yeah, it's almost time to do another, not a whitewash, but another coat of uh, the polyurethane. Okay. So everything that we used, so the, the stain, the application pads, the scrubby, that's all at Dixie Bell. So use our link down below. That helps support us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, Dixie Bell's been a great partnership. We love working with them. Um, and the only other thing that we've used so far is the True Fusion Cleaner, which is on... Um, Spellbinders, and if you use the link, it'll help support us mm -hmm. too, and we thank you. 
So let's show you this. This I love. Now, here, oh, I was going to show them up here. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. So you can see where we get, we I still get that it. nice wood finish and stuff. So now you can bring it down here, Shani. Mm -hmm. So we have, you can still see the wood grain through that. If we were to use paint, it would cover that up which we don't want. Now, as Sean has already said in an earlier time, we do want to make sure this is completely dry before we do anything on it. Um, just because we're going to be using this with um, some products, we will not end up waxing it. You could, mm -hmm. but we're not going to. So I'm going to dry it real quick. Going up on us again. Mm -hmm. um, now, if, so, if you want to distress that, you could take the sander and distress it more. Yeah, you could take your sander, um, either hand block it or the machine, depending on how much you want to do with it. Right on. So you can see where I still have kind of a woodish grain to it. So let me just show you the colors. This is the Black Magic. This is Tobacco Road. It's beautiful. Plus, you can layer the stain. So, for example, can you go back to this one real yeah. quick? You can see where I dropped a little bit of white here. So you can actually layer different colors and come up with different color combinations and stuff. The one thing I is the um, Bayou Moss. We didn't sand one side, we sanded this side and you can see. And if you don't like that, you can sand it down a little. Lisa Hotchkiss says you can use Dixie Bell's Gator Hide to seal your table and it works yes, great. Yes, you it, can. Well, she's already two steps ahead of me. Oh That's my a video. Goodness. A video. We can go back up on this. Mm -hmm. All right. So let me put this over off to the side. Can you get these in Canada? I don't know, Sherry. Um, I believe so. Let's check. Let's check it real quick. We can go check what their website yeah. says. We can figure out if they either ship to Canada or they actually have. Sometimes they have. Yeah, they do need a red one. Um, that might be a new color. They can, might be coming out. Um, a lot of the, a lot of people actually sell this out of stores. There's mm -hmm. actually we have one or two here in town, but we just go direct. Find a retailer. Find a retailer. Yep. Click here for Canada. Click here for Australia, New Zealand. Click here for Europe. There you go. So yeah. Yeah. Just go to the website. All right, everyone. So we're actually finished with the first part. It was that easy. Um, we need about 10 minutes to flip over to our other channel where we are going to finish this project so you guys can see its amazingness. Um, so if you have any questions on Dixie Bell, what we used or anything, you can email me, which is heskr at yahoo.com. All of the links are in the description or on Facebook page or whatever. We can get you the link. Um, we also have links to other things that we use most commonly in this video. Once we go over to our next channel, please keep in mind we cannot refer back to this video, specifically products, links, all that stuff. So if you hear us say, right now we're just focusing on X, that's your cue to hop onto this video and get your information here. So there you go. All right. We will see you in about 10 minutes on our other channel. Bye, everyone.